There are so many sales going on. Elegoo has started their Black Friday sale, so has Bamboo Lab. There's other 3D printer sales going on. So today we're gonna go ahead and check them all out and I'll let you guys know what I would do if I was in your position. A friendly reminder, I did start a second channel called Tech News Mike, so if that's something that would interest you, go ahead and check it out in the link below. I just cover the latest in tech news. So guys, these are going to be my preferences. I liken 3D printers and all sorts of appliances like this to a car. Some people like Mazda, some people like Toyota, some people even like Kia, believe it or not. But with all of that said, there's always a preference when it comes to 3D print companies. Usually Bamboo Lab is my preference when it comes to 3D printers, but for their filament, I have actually never purchased a spool of filament from Bamboo Lab. So again, it's all about preference, what you like, I'm not leaving any affiliate links down in the description below outside of my normal Amazon affiliate links. That's the only affiliate link I've ever linked on this channel. So really there's nothing in it for me to advertise these sales to you guys outside of maybe you click my Amazon affiliate links to see what camera I'm using or I do have an Amazon deal actually on filament coming up. So one thing I would recommend going into this holiday season, think about who you're watching and what's in it for them to recommend these products. A lot of times on TikTok, it's just a Creality Fest. And personally, I've never had a good experience with Creality printers, but I know they pay a decent commission. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some of the sales we have here. So you guys did hear that Elegoo is doing their Black Friday sale. So they actually have the Elegoo Centauri Carbon for $279. Now, a lot of the companies are offering free shipping right now, but Elegoo is not one of them on their 3D printers. With their 3D printers, actually, it's going to be a $30 shipping fee. So it does bring the total to $210. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. I don't believe, however, on Elegoo's website, depending on where you're located, they do not charge a sales tax. At least for me in Arizona, I did not get charged a sales tax when it came to Elegoo. So on Bamboo Lab, I do. On most other websites, I do but on Elegoo's website, I don't. So I include all of that into what it costs to buy a 3D printer, shipping costs, taxes, all of that. So at $279, that is something to consider. They are also running a sale on filament. Um, it's a buy four, get one free, buy seven, get three free. So at that point, you might as well buy, I feel like if you can afford it, the seven to get the three free. It seems like a much better deal. Now, the thing with Elegoo is I would go back and watch my video, I think it was like last week on Tuesday, about what has been going on kind of with the Centauri Carbon. Don't expect multicolor for that printer. So if you're looking for a multicolor printer, I would steer for another option if you want multicolor this year. And we'll talk about those other options. Another sale that has been going on is Anycubic and their Cobra S1. Now, I will say I did have one of these. I did return it. I think it suffered from some QC issues and also, Anycubic is teasing their new Anycubic Cobra printer, the S1 Mac. Now, I do think it's going to offer a great improvement over the Cobra S1, but the Cobra S1 is getting relatively cheap. You can actually get it for $4.99. I have a lot of viewers that actually really like their Cobra S1. I think I just got one of those QC printers where the bed wasn't or something. I think maybe I, even I could have played around with it a little more and it would have got um, some better results. Some people have some really good results here on YouTube as well when it comes to the Anycubic Cobra S1. I just found that my other printers were printing better than it and I bought it on Amazon, so I returned it. So I would just want to bring you aware if the Anycubic Cobra S1 has been a printer that you are looking at. Again, I have a lot of viewers that have been really happy with the Anycubic Cobra S1, but I haven't, again, my experience was a little bit different. Go back to the, the, the car analogy. Um, <laughs> so, the Anycubic Cobra S1 is actually $4.99 with the combo version, so you can get the multicolor at that point. So I think overall that's a pretty good deal. If you're not looking actually for the multicolor system, you can get this as low as $3.79. That's a pretty good deal as well. The other 3D printer to consider is actually the Flash Forge AD5X, and this is on sale for $360. It's actually not that great of a deal right now. I think you've actually been able to get this for 380, so it's only about 20 bucks off like the Centauri Carbon. So nothing major when it comes to deals, but with these lower end printers, you're not gonna save too much waiting for Black Friday, Christmas, things like that. These, I mean, they only have so many margins to make money on these lower end printers. So that's something you do have to keep in mind. 
Now, before we go into the Bamboo Labs sale, I just want to talk about a filament deal that I've actually been using pretty regularly. It's the Sunlu PLA Plus four pack bundle on Amazon is $40.79 for PLA Plus, their 2.0 version. The reason I really like this is if you have a Bamboo Lab AMS system, it has a plastic spool. You're technically not supposed to use those cardboard spools and they can clog up your AMS systems when it comes to using Bamboo Lab printers. That's why I really like them and you can actually reuse these spools. So if you were to buy these, get the four pack, and this is just for maybe you're building a cosplay prop or something and you wanna sand it down really good, these would be good. You can then reuse those spools and maybe buy bamboo filament, or actually if you go to Sunlu's website, they're actually running a Halloween sale where you can get colors anywhere from 11 to like $12.50, depending on what you're picking. So with their Halloween sale, I think Sunlu is one of the best places to get colors. Overall, they're offering some pretty good deals on colors. When you go to Amazon and you're looking for colors, I do find that they tend to be like $15 plus. So these types of sales, they happen quite often. It's not just a Halloween thing, so don't feel like FOMO. You have to rush out for these sales, and that's really for any of these sales, honestly. Don't feel FOMO. Don't feel like you're gonna miss out. This sale will come up again, it always does. Um, so, but if you want to buy right now, you can actually get some pretty decent deals. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into the Bamboo Lab sale, which is one of the most popular sales of the year. This is one of the sales that everyone always looks forward to. Bamboo Labs Black Friday sale. Okay, so their Black Friday sale is actually live now and it's going to run through December 5th. So again, don't create this FOMO, guys. You don't, you, and if you don't know what I mean by FOMO, because maybe you're where, you know, some of, I'm getting older and sometimes I don't know what the terms mean, even some of this, like the six, six, seven stuff. I had to look it up. I was completely lost when I was watching the Packers game and they started doing this stuff. I'm like, what is going on? So I had to look it up. So don't, don't feel bad. And I'm 30. So, so getting into this guys, we'll talk about the filaments first, because that's what we were on. You can actually get the best discount if you buy up to eight of these 18 rolls you can get 45 percent off as low as 10.99 a roll now that is for the refills and that's where i said if you buy like the sunlu you can actually get the spools off the sunlu and use them on your bamboo lab filament but this is a pretty typical deal as well when it comes to the bamboo lab store don't think you have to rush out because i think you can normally get these for 12.99 if you buy 10 or 13.99 i'm not quite sure i don't remember so if you're paying again more than 15 dollars on amazon for colors don't you can you can do these if you have another printer you can still use bamboo lab filaments if you have a bamboo lab printer you can still use sunlu filaments or any other filaments that you see fit now i might be missing other deals on filaments but this is what I use, this is what I prefer. Again, I don't buy the Bamboo Lab filament, but a lot of people like it. I typically trend towards Sunlu. But actually this year I might be picking up some of this because I need some different colors for some Christmas projects that I wanna work on. Moving into this, that's one thing that you wanna consider. Um, also with their accessories, again, it's not like this FOMO deal where you know, ah, oh, I'm gonna miss out and all that. You don't have to pick up this stuff right away. They do run some maker supply deals that are pretty good. Also, the tungsten carbide nozzle is coming soon when it comes to that. So there's a few things that are a little bit different, but again, yeah, they're not crazy, crazy deals that you like you have to run out and get unless it's a flash sale those sales are pretty good like you can get a bamboo lab cool plate super tack i'm assuming that price right now there the 719 is for the bamboo lab a1 mini and then the other ones are a little bit more expensive but maybe i'm wrong um so that the they do have some rounds of flash sales starting at let's see it's starting on october 30th at 5 a.m mountain standard time and then they have a few different rounds on 11 11 11 18 and 12 3 so just again <laughs> calm your horses you don't have to rush out to buy anything maybe you're waiting for black friday maybe there's a different 3d printer that catches your mind and you're waiting to see if there's a sale but now we'll go into what i would do with bamboo lab 3d printers because these are the only printers right now that i would consider buying uh, again i think the creality hype is just crazy i i i really it's hard for me to be on tiktok sometimes because uh, yeah um yeah uh yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I just, I'm just gonna leave it there. I, I, I'm not saying anyone in particular. If you know, you know. I just, I just, yeah. I've had, I've been burned by Creality printers in the past. 
Maybe if Creality wanted to reach out, I would try one of their new ones and see what it is, give you guys some honest feedback. Again, Creality, I'm here. I'm open, I'm receptive, but I'm gonna be honest for the people. We're not putting affiliate links to, you know, say nice things and get these sales right. I'm just giving you guys, and this is personal preference based on what I've used. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the first deals. The P1S for $399. It's really hard to beat this deal. So if you're looking for a single 3D printer, the P1S being for $399, you really can't go wrong here. Now you also have the A1 for 279. Now, if you're trying to decide between these two printers and you're more in like the budget realm when it comes to 3D printers, ask yourself one thing, what materials do I plan on printing? If you only plan on printing PLA and PETG, go with the A1. The A1 is totally fine. Is it a little bit slower? Yes. However, it's a newer printer. I like the nozzle system better, like the quick swap latching system is better. It has tangle detection. Just the basic version has tangle detection. The P1S does not have that. Does it normally tangle? No, there's not really usually any issues when it comes to the P1S. However, there's just a few nice features like that. Now the camera sucks on both of them. Um, you know, Wi-Fi connectivity, sometimes I have to reset my router because it's only that Wi-Fi 2.4. And I don't have that same issue with like, if you're going up to the H2S, I've never had that issue with the H2S, but that's what you get with some of these budget 3D printers. Um, outside of this though, again, going back to what I was saying, if you're gonna print PLA, PETG only, 279 is totally fine. I love the A1. It is to me the number one printer I would recommend for a beginner because if you're getting to advanced materials right away, you can overwhelm yourself. And I think you should really test out, see if you like 3D printing, and then maybe you can splurge and get another 3D printer. And maybe like the P2S. I was hoping the P2S would come out for the sale and be available in the United States. It hasn't. I did see somewhere maybe it would come around 1110. So uh, I think the P2S is the best overall printer. When it comes out, hopefully it's a decent price. But if you're looking right now, the A1, if you print PLA PETG, if you're looking for other materials, I would say the P1S. Now you can get the combo for $550 or you can get the P1S with the hub for, and that's with the AMS2. And yeah, you have to pay a little bit extra because it wasn't originally compatible with the AMS2 and it has a heater. Um, so you can get that for $619. So it depends on what you want. I, for $70, if you only plan on using multicolor once in a while, so far the AMS-1 has done its job, but there is a difference between the AMS-1 and the AMS-2. I have less problems with the AMS-2, but some people have said vice versa. So I, I personally like it for $70 more though. I don't know that I would splurge on it, but if you're looking at like, okay, I wanna print like eight colors, 12 colors eventually, and you're gonna buy more AMSs, then maybe you just eat the cost now and go with the AMS-2 um, hub. But yeah, so depending on what you wanna do, I would say for the most part though, everyone's gonna be good with the normal P1S combo and for 549. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, a very good, very strong entry level printer for a very cheap price. Now, if you're looking at something even cheaper, you need something cheaper, I really do like the A1 Mini. If you're looking at only printing like D&D miniatures, um, go to FDM Miniatures on Reddit. They offer some good solutions if you like what you're seeing there. If not, opt for a resin printer when it comes to minis, which we won't be talking about resin today, of course. Another thing with the A1, if you're looking at the A1 combo, you're only gonna print four colors. I like the A1 combo over the Flash Forge AD5X. I think it just works. The bigger build plate size really makes the difference for me here. Also as well, the combination of, okay, all these different accessories, these parts are available on Bamboo Lab's website. Again, it's my preference. I like the Bamboo Lab ecosystem. Um, the one thing to consider with the A1 is it's now able to work with the AMSs. So there is a buffer you can buy for $20. However, when you're looking at buying an AMS over the light, it is a sizable price like increase. So I don't know that I would recommend doing that. Um, personally, I still think that the AMS with the AMS light system is totally fine. And until Bamboo Lab starts offering like a combo, I don't see it, but there is like rumors of an A2 coming out soon. I don't think we'll see it this year, but I said that with the P2S, but I really don't think we'll see this one this year. 
uh, because I think the next A2 will just be able to be, I think it'll just work with the AMSs. So they did, they did come out with the buffer. I'll leave a link down below to that because it is kind of hard to find their website, but th that's a sizable price increase. And I think I would only do that if you're buying AMS twos. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. And I haven't tried to see if it works uh, very well. So that's what I would do there. Um, so with those, again, my total beginner recommendation, again, just to recap everything we kind of talked about because I did kind of rant or not rant or ramble on there is go with the A1 if you're going with PLA or PETG. If you want multicolor, I'd probably opt for the light and just stick with four colors for now. It's a good budget option. If you're looking at printing any advanced materials, I would go with the P1S. With the P1S, I would opt for, usually the general combo is fine. I don't really see yourself expanding. If you get a nicer printer down the road, I always they always at this point come with the AMS2. If we come to a point where the P2S is in stock, I think that's just gonna be the best overall printer to start with. And if you wanna splurge and get yourself something nice, go with the P2S if it's around seven, to $800. I'm assuming it's going to be riding around $800. I think that's totally worth it for what the P2S is and what they've shown. If you're expanding and going into like the H2D and that stuff, you already probably have your mind set up, but you can get a $250 discount on whichever H2D you buy. And it does have free shipping. Same thing with the H2S. So if you're looking at an H2S, they also offer free shipping, which is about an $80 savings because I spent about $80 when I had my H2S shipped. Um, so I think that's also another thing that's kind of nice about these sales is the free shipping. You also get a few free gifts when you buy those. Officially, the X1C and the P1P have been, I guess they haven't really said they've been retired, but you know, they're not there. If you do have any other concerns with the P1S that I forgot to add, they did say in their P2S blog statement that they were going to plan, they plan on continuing to support the P1S. It's not going there. It's their new fully enclosed budget option when it comes to 3D printers. They've retired the P1P and now taking its place is the P1S. So don't, don't, there's just so many people who are like, ah, you know, do this, do that, ma, 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 ba, ba, ba. Yeah, whatever. Um, getting back into this. But I still think Bamboo Labs ecosystem is the best beginners. They offer spare parts. If you accidentally break something, things like that. Again, personal preference. I've said that 500 times. Anyway, so getting into this again, it's all personal preference. I do think these are the best for beginners. So if you do have any questions though on any of this, I know I kind of ramble. They can kind of get lost. Maybe I, <laughs> oh, when I'm watching this back in editing, I'll be like, okay, what was I doing here? Um, we'll see. So my number one 3D printer to buy, if it comes in stock for $800, is the P2S. If you're more looking for a budget option, only printing PLA PETG, 279 for the A1, totally fine. And then you could buy two or three of them for the same price of the P2S if you only wanted single color. Um, if you want a multicolor, of course, you can get for 379. Um, but if you only wanted single color, you could buy a couple of them and just start manufacturing a whole bunch of stuff if you were making a life-size bow droid life-size pieces yeah so i think that would be really cool so again p2s then a1 then p1s and then of course you know if you're splurging you can go into like the h2s and things like that but i'm just purely talking first 3d printer budget i wouldn't spend over a thousand dollars on any of that and i wouldn't really go with any other brand for your first 3d printer personally that is my choice so outside of that, guys, I do appreciate you for watching. Do you guys like these sales videos? Do you like the tech news on the other channel? Or would you prefer that some of that just comes to this channel and we do it all in one? Going into the holidays, proceed with caution. Look what's in it for other people trying to sell you something. Again, none of my stuff, for the most part, is affiliate links down below. And I will clearly indicate if it's an affiliate link. So enjoy the rest of your week, guys, and we'll see you Friday at 6 a.m. Arizona time or Pacific time, whatever it is now, 6 a.m. Arizona time for the 3D printing news.